Heavenly Father. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. All nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They surrounded me, yes, they surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Though they surrounded me like bees, they were quenched like a fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. You pushed me violently that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge. O oh Lord, I will praise you. Though you were angry with me, your anger is turned away and you comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure, for your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who will give you thanks? Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord, and teach out of your law, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. For the glory and honor of your merciful and majestic name, Lord Jesus, we give you praise. Amen.